It's a distinctive coastal feature of this corner of the Korean peninsula. Rivers rich in sediment flow into the shallow Yellow Sea, producing over thousands of years expansive stretches of mud. They sustain a remarkable biodiversity with thousands of species, which in turn provides a livelihood for coastal communities. Our livelihoods depend on preserving the ecosystem of these mudflats. It's like having our own farm to work. Each tide results in alternate environments for land and sea species living side by side. The mud acts as a natural filter to cleanse the ocean, while the abundance of microscopic organisms is reckoned to produce as much oxygen as if the same area was planted with trees. Compared to other coastal environments like salt marsh or mangrove, mudflats have been somewhat overlooked, but there's a growing awareness of their life-sustaining value and that South Korea has some of the best examples of this unique environment anywhere in the world, a fact that would be conferred with UNESCO recognition. With the largest mudflats in South Korea, Shinan County is pushing hardest for inclusion on the World Heritage List. This area lies along the East Asian flyway for migratory waterbird species, some of them endangered. And it's teeming with new arrivals right now on their summer migration north. These mudflats are not an infinite resource. Our focus should be to preserve them for future generations so we can enjoy the benefits they provide. Natural benefits that are enjoyed along these shores and also far beyond them. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Shinan County, South Korea.